Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is SK Visions, and today I'll be shooting a one light setup. It's a beauty setup in studio, so I hope you guys can follow along. I'll try to go as slow as possible, but I am slow, so it don't even matter. Today I have Jada. She decided to do this for me today, so I really appreciate her, and I hope that I can give her some good photos so she could take home and post and I can make the story and and feed finally. So today we have the AD 600 that I'll be using to shoot. We're just doing one light. Um, this is my go-to. Right now don't mind the tape. It's been through a lot but we all have been through a lot. We just got to keep what we got man and keep going. It's a bit taped up. Anyways we're going to be using that. The first setup that I am going to be using is this with a beauty dish. But before I do that, let me talk to you what I got. I got a Canon R6 with a Tamron 70 to 200 millimeter lens. The reason why I got Tamron is because I cannot afford Canon. So that's why I got it today. Um, I'm tethering today. Let me turn on back my laptop. Tethering today to capture one. Um, of course, I got a only flashpoint trigger to go with the, the light today. So yes, um, one thing I like to talk about is when you're shooting anything in studio, always make sure that you cut out any ambient light in the studio regardless so my I, I normally have different settings that I go to I would go to f11 because I like everything to be sharp that's just my go-to I don't really shoot lower or above I always stick at f11 also to keep in mind that you don't want your ISO to be too high for me I always go to the lowest ISO when I'm setting up my light I keep it at 100 most of the times, whether outside, inside, it don't matter. Um, if your camera has ISO 200 and it can't go below that, use 200. And my shutter speed is normally between 1 over 125 to like 1 over 160. So when you take a photo, you got to make sure that your ambient light is cut out. So when you take the photo, it should be completely dark. So I am gonna test this light right now. I got ISO 100, put it back at F11, and one over 125. So I'm gonna take a photo. And as you can see, the screen is fully dark. All right, so I just cut out all the ambient light in the studio. So now turn your flash on. And again, I'll be using a white beauty dish. Don't worry, it's on the floor, but I don't really care for my equipment too much. I just do whatever. This light is very riggedy and hard to put on. All right, I got it attached. And when I am shooting, I love, when I'm shooting with the beauty dish, I love to feather my light. So I am gonna turn it a little bit to the right where the edge of the rim lines up with the model right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I decided I'm gonna use a clamshell today. The reason for using a clamshell is because I want the light to bounce and even out those shadows underneath her chin because I will be angling the light down. Okay, so we will raise this up just a little bit. Jada, if I make you nervous, I'm sorry. I'm very cute. <laughs> so, I will position my light. Also, another reason for the beauty, um, the clamshell is that I can get a catch light in the eye. So I want under her to be brightened up, and I also want a catch light in the eye because I'm a fan for that. Turn this on. Right now my power is at one over one, which is full power. 
I'm gonna test the lighting and see whether the lighting is very bright or dark. And if I need to move my light back or forth for better lighting, or I could turn down the output of the light. So I'm gonna take a test shot. As you can see, to me, the light is very bright. So I'm gonna cut down on the power. So instead of one over one, I'm gonna do a half power. Do that again, then I'm gonna test it. All right, so we got a little better lighting. Um, the lighting is not too bright on the backdrop and the light is not too bright on her skin. The reason for using this white beauty dish personally is that I don't get too much contrast with the skin. I don't want to wash out a lot of the pigment that she has. I do like a darker complexion, especially shooting on a brown backdrop. So, I'm gonna test it again. Beautiful. And of course, post-processing, post-production, you can get rid of a lot of the light on the brown backdrop. So, this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna take a couple shots and then I'll see if I need to add a V-flat or anything that I could use to modify the light. All right, ready? Let's go. So this is absolutely perfect. And I booked the best model today, so I'm happy about it. All right, keep it. Yeah. Turn a little bit to the left. Just a little bit, you can rotate your legs. Hmm? And that picture is perfect. Yes. So she's giving me a lot of emotion right now, which works perfectly with the light. Yes. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get some closer shots of the face. Yes, right there. And look away to this side. Yes. Oh yes. Perfect. All right. So that's what the beauty dish is giving me. I'm gonna see, of course you got shadows right here. We could add a black V flat to give even more shadows. So I'm gonna try that. Today, we got some V flats from my studio. I gotta plug my ISO studio, Atlanta studio, best studio ever. Um, we got some V-flats from, we got this shit from? Home Depot. We got this from Home Depot for around $12. Got this shit for $12. It came pink, purple, lavender, whatever color this is. Um, but we painted the sides black and white. We also made these stands because it's better and I don't feel like using V, v flat worlds V flats. So I will position my V flats at an angle. Let me put this this way. Sorry for all that rubbing noise. I should mess with my teeth. <laughs> All right, so even though I'm angling my light this way, a lot of the light spreads because I'm feathering the light. So I will still be able to get some shadows from this actually. I'm gonna just bring it in a little bit closer. They're not ready for this yet. All right. So I'm gonna add even more shadow to make it more dramatic. Hold on, let me focus my light. All right, so kind of face towards it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? And I could bring it in a little closer, actually. A lot closer. And she's cold, my studio is cold today. 
Don't know what's wrong with the heat, but we're gonna make it work. This is probably gonna help her warm up. Yes. And we could also add to the white side to see what outcome we can get. So I'm gonna turn this to the white side as well to show you light bouncing from this. Oops, hold on. Oh. I'm very clumsy. So please don't mind that. All right. So I'm just gonna bounce light. Don't have enough V-flats to do both sides. So this is what is gonna work. As you can see, that side of her face is very much even right now. There's no shadows on that side. Yes, right there. Good. The good thing is having a model that you ain't gotta tell too much. You don't, you don't have to give too much direction. But I would say, put your hands down real down. quick. Okay. Yeah, I'ma just focus on the raw beauty. Okay. <laughs> yes. And just give that model a look. So no smiling, we're gonna <laughs> Got you. All right. So that's what the white side looks like. All right, so that is the white beauty dish. What I will do now is compare it with my umbrella. I have a 70 inch umbrella that I will be setting up right now. Again, my equipment is not that great. It's very much broken. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna angle my light a little bit. This can't bend for real though. I will say that. So I have to use the boom arm and I'm gonna become Rihanna with my umbrella. Come here a little bit closer, show them the struggle that we got. So I gotta push this through the tape pretty much to get this shit in there. All right. This will make the light a bit softer and not too much contrast. That's still a little bit of contrast because it's silver inside, but I tend to use my, my umbrella a lot because I like soft light. So I'm gonna test the light real quick. Oops. If I can get this under here. Position the light, and I'm gonna take a test shot. Hold on, but before I do, let me move this V flat. So it's not blocking me. Okay, oops. Houston, we got a problem. For some reason, did not flash, okay. Here we go. So that is very, very, very underexposed. And I was at a half power. So now I'm probably gonna shoot full power. If not, you could always change the ISO and put it at a higher ISO. I got 100, so I could put it up to 200, 250 and see what it is. But I'm just gonna put it at a half power and bring my light up some bit, a little bit and test it. So you can always change your lighting by the distance of the light. That's what I do mainly. Or you can just change your settings. So half power gives me nice, even light. I love how it looks on the skin. So I'm gonna take some shots. Yes. Jada needs to be on every billboard 
every Sephora, every Mac. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, it's right there. Keep it. Sometimes when you shoot at full power, you'll have a lot of misfires, but oh well. I'm gonna still use it. And again, F11 gives me a lot of range to shoot without worrying if the shots are gonna be blurry or not. It's gonna always be in focus because of my f-stop. Especially shooting one person. Yes, keep it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without this clamshell. Probably should have did that the first one, but I didn't. So I'm gonna show you, again, the clamshell is used to even up the shadows under the chin. So as you can see, you have more defined shadows. You have darker shadows underneath the chin. Sometimes the nose, take a couple more shots though. So you can determine if you want to use a clamshell or not. I am missing all these shots. One more. Okay, perfect. I will also move the V flash out the way to see what kind of shots I'm getting. Everybody, I do not go to the gym, but I can lift some of this stuff out the way. All right, so this is just the umbrella and the model. And you can see the different lighting that it gives you. Oh, I actually like that <laughs> more. Ready, yes. I am misfiring like crazy for this YouTube video. Yes. Hold on. Misfire, no, I, I didn't shoot that one. Yes. All right, let me look through these real quick. See if I got any good ones. Oh yes, I did. I'm SK Vision, so I really do this. I really do this. So do, these are some of the looks that you can get with just a beauty dish or an umbrella. You just need one light, guys. You don't need to have three to four different lights at all. Um, it's just, preference really. I normally shoot with three lights. Normally have a light here, one to point at the hair, I call it a hair light, and one for the backdrop. Or sometimes two hair lights, one on the backdrop, one right here. So this is just a simple beauty setup and I hope you guys love the images. I surely do. I'll post the edited photos as well at the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy. SK Visions, I'm out.